What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first grunt tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download, install, set up and use grunt but before we get to that you guys may be wondering what the heck is grunt? I never heard of it before. Well to put it simply grunt is a tool that you can use to automate a bunch of things that you would usually have to do whenever you're making a website. So for example if you ever work with less files and you use a tool to compile them manually, well, Grunt can automate that for you. If you ever make a website and you decide I want to minify all my CSS or JavaScript files, well, Grunt can automate that for you. So it's kind of hard to explain because it's not just one thing. And actually, if I open this plugins, you can see that this is the plugins page, and these are all the things that Grunt can do. So it makes it a lot easier than going online, finding a tool for each specific task and you know doing everything else like separately one by one. So Grunt is definitely a must have if you're a web developer and well that's it that's a little introduction. So now let's just jump into setting it up. Now in order to install Grunt and download it we actually first need to have Node.js installed on our computer. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to talk you through installing and setting up Node because first of all, it's really easy. Uh, essentially, all you do is you press this big green install button right on nodejs.org homepage and you just click next a bunch of times. Again, like, I don't know, if you ever downloaded and installed anything in your life, it's going to be pretty simple. But the reason that we need to have Node.js is because whenever we download Node, it gives us this thing called a Node package manager. It's essentially a tool that comes with Node and allows us to download things from the internet. What are we looking to download? Well, Grunt. Now, if you actually want to be walked through installing Node, then if you hop over to my Node.js tutorials, in the very first video, I show you how to install Node on Windows, and in the second one, I show you how to install it on a Mac. So if you already have it on your computer, you're good to go. If not, hop over to that video, watch it, then come back here. So once you have node then the next thing we need to do is we need to open up the command line in Windows so if you go to your start and open CMD I'm guessing that you guys already know how to open this but anyways we're gonna be using this to install the grunt CLI now again the command for this is npm install minus G grunt minus CLI so whenever we downloaded node.js that node package manager that tool that allows us to download things that I was talking to you guys about like a minute ago that's what this MPS, NPM stands for right here so we're saying hey node install grunt CLI now this is the grunt command line interface it's just a program that um, allows us to use grunts from the command line simple enough now this little dash G this means globally so whenever we have this it's gonna install the grunt CLI on our entire computer so we can type grunt commands anywhere you know we don't just have to be in our specific project or anything so hit enter and it's gonna go find it on the internet download it and boom it's now installed on our computer so <laughs> how easy was that that's why we need to download node, node first because this npm tool it makes everything super simple now after this we're ready to start setting up grunt for our project so let's say we're making a website or something now what you can do if you don't have any cool IDE is you can actually just navigate to your project so I have a folder right here I'll show you guys and all of my project files are in here that I'm gonna be playing around with in this video so this is on my desktop in demo so if you want to do this you can navigate to CD which means change directory desktop demo and once you're in here what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is a bunch of cool commands grunt commands that you can use however move this out of the way in the IDE that I use I actually have a command line built right in so I like using this one because then we can clearly see all in one screen and it's really easy to teach but if you guys don't have um, an IDE again this is IntelliJ from JetBrains then you can just use the command line by navigating to your projects folder so once you download it and install node 
and then once you use the node package manager to set up grunt CLI and moved into your directory whether you know whatever project you want to use grunt on then you're ready to move on so uh, yeah now we're ready see you guys next video